Para para pa 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 para para pa para pa 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 para pa 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 Audio. Bum, 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 bum. Pause and good. All right. I wanted to check to make sure that the audio was doing good. And I think that's a good level. I think that's a good level. All right. Mm. Yeah. Love this song. All right. So. Where did we leave off? We got um, a bunch of people in our little scene here that have not been animated. We want to get ZF in there um, first. We want to get ZF in there first. Our land is looking okay. We got decent lighting. It looks like one of those, um, and diorama, is diorama the right word I want to look for? Oh, hello, Diaxon. Hello, Real Black Fang. Someone uninteresting. Hello, you three. It's good to see you. Always good to talk with somebody while I'm doing uh, these animations. I up the levels on the music because I wasn't able to hear it on the stream. <laughs> Helps when I actually have a recording. So, all right, land, get rid of all of these people for right now. And go back to textured. We're gonna wanna take one of these guys. I'm gonna take you over into a new section. Wrong side Z. Wrong side Z. This guy is actually going to go from the point of the bed, get up, and be angry. So flump, flump, okay. So we want you to start rolling, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Already I'm starting off with a few of the, uh, the, the uh, bad textures here. This is uh, all being controlled by this guy right here, just so that I can uh, have mouth and eye movements. So let's fix that right now so that we don't have that before, this horrifying wall thing here. That is empty number six. So we want to change this, separate it to empty dot zero zero six, fixed. Perfect. And you. You have empty number 10. Empty number 10, let's fix you. Just separate the faces. Empty number 10, fixed. Good. Now you don't look like a, some horrible monstrosity. All right. We want to take this roll and go in the opposite direction. So I may have to just completely delete all the animations for this character on this side. So at that point, we want to be on the edge of the bed. So here we want to be on the edge of the bed. Let us... Grab all of these and just straight up delete them. And move you on over. Roll and push up. Okay. Let's take a little bit of inspiration from our other thing. Or should we? Should we roll off in a different fashion? They kind of, His roll is kind of a springy roll. 
kind of rolls and then jumps to his feet almost. Maybe I should just have his head swing around, kind of. So. Uh, mm, yeah, let's get his foot moving first. Okay. Mm did wrong last time with the roll is I didn't think about the weight on the hips and the arm so I got to think a little bit more of weight on this hip on top of the bed so he's gonna be have his hip on the bed and just a quick zoom into the ZF's butt there and then we want this upper body slightly moved and the head to be rolling on the bed. Okay. There we go. Good. And let's get that arm moving before we really start start getting into it. And then all right, we're gonna grab right there. And let's move it up a little bit. There we go. Grab onto the bed. And roll off. Ooh. Roll. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. All right, leg is on the ground. It's clipping through, but I'm not too concerned. Let's try and fix it just a little bit at least. There we go. That's enough. A little clippage never hurt anybody. Alright, and then we want to how oh gosh, how does he how does he get out of bed? He's gonna have to swing up. see here. Foot. Let's bring that foot up just a little bit. There we go. And then this guy's got to move. Actually, he can move at the same time because the weight is on his hip. Or rather, his head and hand. As he slides across the bed. So we can actually move that at the same time. be I think we want to be here at that time yeah I think that's good all right that's the timing that I want mm, this guy however is not good I'm gonna bring that guy in pretty bringing him in too quickly Let's bring him in a little bit slower by having a keyframe right up to his hand and then. Alright. Yeah, that's a little bit better. A little bit better, not quite. These are going to be rotated downward. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
and then this one is gonna kind of swing a little late. And then plant. Here. Even later, that foot needs to be hitting a lot still later, but with a little bit more force. Upward. Plump. Get those knees pointing the right direction. Um, this one is going to start to point this direction and then continue to rotate knee knee is completely this direction there okay let's follow suit with this leg bringing the knee outward a little bit earlier knee outward plop body continues to go left and forward and drunkenly off to the left not that we're advocating alcohol yeah and then we'll have a little bit of a have a little bit of a how do we express anger well I mean I know how to express anger but how do I express a wrong side of the bed do I have his arms kind of upward going grrr or do I just have him slump off the same way that he came in you know I think I'll have his have him stomping his feet out. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do like a grr, like a look up, and then okay. Come on, ZF, look up. Days upon you. Days upon you. Don't waste a minute. Okay. He needs to be a little bit slower on that. Um, grab this. We're actually going to grab this keyframe right here. We're gonna move it a little bit longer. Mm, that doesn't seem right. Hmm. Oh, I know what's happening, okay. Well, it doesn't seem... It's going in one direction and then suddenly stopping and going in another. It's not the length of time. It's the rotation. Okay, so this needs to dip down just a little bit more. And then downward, upward, and then back. Almost downward again actually you know what let's take that upward and do another downward again what too much there we go <laughs> mm, there we go nah Nah, not exactly what I was going for. Yeah, I could do that, couldn't I? Huh. Now, how do I want to do that? If I want to do that... Oh, no, no. Because uh, if I texture... If I animate the texture of his eyes, I would have to separate the textures for each one. 
So instead of separating the textures for each one for the red eyes, what I could do is instead I could have an extra layer of red. There's an extra there's an extra red eye underneath. So it'd be kind of like this. Let's grab So I want to be able to duplicate these and not have to change too much of the timeline. So what I can do is I can grab grab this right here. Grab his eye. I can duplicate it. Duplicate the eye, move it backwards into the head, and I can take these and add in another layer or another tech another material and we will go with an emission texture and we will color it red and we will have a strength of 10 to start off with and assign it to that Right. Let's take a look inside of his head. See how this emission is going on. It's okay. We should be able to increase. We need bloom. That's what we need. We need some bloom. Bloom. There we go. That's what we need. Just a little check box. Check box there. Bloom helps uh, give it a. Uh, little red aura to it. And the higher up we go, the bigger that bloom gets. All right. All right, good. And now we just need to add in a couple more bones here. Hello, eyes. Duplicate the eye bones and move you back into the eye. Okay, good. And we want, what are these bones called? These bones are called pupil, okay, so these are just basically duplicated 001s for both. So let's go back into the edit mode of the mesh. We still should have the eyes selected. Okay, and we want to change, we want to add in a group. Pupil L dot zero zero one and add in another one pupil R dot zero zero one. Okay. So this is his left pupil. Come here. Oh. Left pupil. Want to remove any other bone influences? Just add in just that one. Same thing with this guy. Select the whole pupil. Remove any other bone influences. And add in just that weight. And so now, when we go to the face. You should be able to, uh, let's do local, should be able to just pull out those red eyes. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And now when I go to duplicate the whole collection, the red eyes should animate at the same, um, should animate differently from the other manifestation of it. Because unlike um, rigs, if I duplicate the whole selection, the textures apply to all of the duplications at the same time. So the red red eyes go off perfectly timed for one, but not perfectly timed for another because it didn't animate at the right time. So this makes it so that I can do that. Good. 
Let us get in those arms. Swinging, swinging them arms. All right, all right, we want, where's that arm? There it is. That should swing back sooner. Okay, let's get that elbow pointing the right direction. Good. Good. Swing. Swing that arm. There we go. Maybe. I don't know. It's okay. That arm's okay. I was thinking of having the arm a little looser, but uh, if he's angry, he's going to be a little bit more tense. So I guess that's a good mistake. It's always good to have good mistakes. And that elbow's wrong. that. Put you back onto the bed. Let's actually move that hand right about here. Just hide that animation of the hand and just keep it on the bed. There we go. direction and good there we go elbow in the right direction Keyframe off the bed. Should I have him shake? Is there too much time there? Ooh, ooh, perfect. I, I know the perfect way to tell if there's too much time that I'm spending uh, at that spot is if I take this guy. Okay, the bed, f bed flop is there. Okay, and I want the bed flop to happen at the exact same time as this one. So, grab and bring this up to this point right here. All right, and then you get both get off the bed. Yeah, I got a little bit of time. Look at that. I, I have a... Um, I can do a gur at that point. It'll be good timing. Split. <laughs> that actually almost. You know. Ah, uh, I like. Sometimes I hate changing my idea midway through, but that that's almost super cool. Look at that. They're both moving at the exact same time and they split halfway through oh that's kind of cool i like that oh, i kind of like that flop split grr 
And, and we can still have the several manifestations of ZF just coming up behind him. So you could have one doing that, and then it would split there. And then can you do another splitting here? And you can actually have you can actually have more ZFs at that point. Oh, that sounds like a great idea. Oh, that sounds like a fantastic idea. I like it. I like it. I like it. Split. <laughs> uh, delight that. Delight in that. Okay. So let us... Yeah. He should do a bit of a shake. As he starts to kind of, not really roar, but kind of grumble in protest. Kind of like, And we'll put in the major movements here. In order to get a good shake out of this. Get a good shake. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I help you take your order? Good shake. There we go. Do the major movements first, so... Get a good shake out of this. You get the, the major movements here, which is that. Which is basically a tilt upwards. And then... To get a good shake, all you have to do is put in some keyframes here. So we want to put in a keyframe here, put in a keyframe here, put in a keyframe here, and put in a keyframe here. And this should be from this point to this point, it should be exactly the same still. And all we have to do is put in some other movements. And I found out the best way to do it is to keep going in the same direction. So we're gonna constantly move to the left with this just a little bit. So add in some more sub keyframes right in between here, just a little bit to the left. Just to the left. A little bit to the left. And it starts to settle down just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> and I think I can do that same thing with the hands. We're going to do that. We're just going to make sure that there's a keyframe there. Alright, so the hands are actually going to go upwards. That little was me behind the mic acting it out because I need to figure out that the hands go up and down and not side to side when you're angry like that. So we're going to add in the keyframes again. Make sure they're a little bit offset from the actual body movement because we don't want it to look too weird. All right, and then ever so slightly up, up, ooh, that's right, screen cap keys. That way people can actually see what we're doing. Shift, oops, nope, click, then shift. That's right, I know what I'm doing. Okay, good, now. Mm, not so much. I actually don't like it at all. I'm gonna have to go back. Okay, so I think we're gonna have to have more. Right, we're gonna have to have more keyframes here. So let's go ahead and do keyframe, 
keyframe. Let's just do them like every 10 or five frames. And then we're gonna put subframes in between those. those subframes. Well, not, not technically an actual subframe. Right. Yeah. yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Let me see that without the bones. Yeah, there we go. I like that. Just a little bit of a wobble with the hands. Not, not too much, but n to emphasize the fact that his hands are uh, stiffer. Yeah. Look at those hands. They have just just enough wobble to them. I like that. Oh, that is good. I love that. Good. All right, and now, now we need to start walking off. This time, I'm not going to do an overall movement. I think I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do a stop start. Uh, either that or what I can do. Um, what if we did it linear? So we did from this point to to the point where the other animation is. Did that to there, but instead of an actual S curve, we did a linear. So that way we can get an idea. There we go. Another floating ZF. Okay, good. And we're, we're going to want to start leaning forward on that. And then, actually, you know, key point does, does this actually make all other things linear inside of it? Actually, to make sure that it doesn't, what I can do is just take this. Uh, no, no. Yeah, it makes everything linear. Okay, so let's continue on that. And stomp. And then, actually, we're going to pull back a bit. And then we're going to do another stomp. Stop a bit, pull back. And then do another stomp and pull back and do another stomp. Okay, so it should be stomp, 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 stomp. Let's take all of these and pull back just a little bit more still. All right, so it should be pump, pump. Thump, 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 thump. Okay, so now let's go ahead, now that we have those in place, let's go ahead and try turning all of this back to uh, Bezier spline curving. Yeah, I like that. Okay, good. That timing is perfect. I like that. All right, now we want these things to fall forward on this first stomp. And we're gonna do the left foot and actually have this head upward. 
and then stump and then have this uh, be a other stump oh I'm still on global that's why local let's go to local and lean off to the right Okay, so base thunk, 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 thunk. Okay, what I think I should do is I'll continue. What's happening here? Where's this one coming from? I don't remember that keyframe. Oh well. I'm gonna wanna move this guy over to the other side. Rotate in the other direction. There we go. Have the head moving correctly. And then the next one, even though we don't see it, we have to see the follow through of it. So we're gonna have to animate this thing, else the previous keyframe isn't going to look too good. So, thump, 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 thump. Okay, so now, let's take all of these, and let's duplicate these, and move them over to their starting of their step. Yeah, and that gives more weight to the drop of it. Uh, hello, I'm Tired3. Nice of you to join me. Well, join us, rather. All of us. There we go. Wop, 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 wop. That gives more weight to the shoulders. Good. Now let's get those legs in there. Because I guess the legs are important. I guess. And while we're at it, we'll add in the other keyframes too for the other stuff at this point. And what step is first? Okay, so it's the left foot first. Left foot first. And thump. Right there. And bring that foot up and back. Thump. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. That's what we want. Mm. We're going to have to do something with that leg. Do anything beforehand. Yes, yes, we can. Let's get rid of that keyframe. And move it into this position here before anything else happens so that we can save ourselves some, some headache later. And that foot needs to come down a bit. There we go. Alright, and then that foot will stay there for the duration of the anger. Good. And then step. Oh, we need to move that knee. Knee outward. Okay, and then step, and then start for the next one. Good, okay, good. That's a little bit better. Get that foot on the ground just before I pick it up. Okay, right here. That's where our next stomp is going to be. And move 
move it up and back. Let's actually move that keyframe up a bit so it's thunk. There we go. Perfect. That's what we want. Step, step. Uh, that knee goes wacky. Let's fix that. Step, step. And that knee goes wacky too. Let's fix that. Whap, whap, whap. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Thunk. And then next step. Thunk. And then the next step is right here. About right there. Bring that foot up and back. Give it some more speed. Thunk. And then this is the last step for all of it. And that foot needs to be there. And give it some speed halfway through just in case. Good, good, that's what we want. Now we know where our steps are. <laughs> well, I hope it's on the, I hope your uh, bed is, uh, on against the uh, wrong side of the bed so that way that you always wake up on the right side right block off the b bad side if it's not move your bed to the other side of the wall just guarantee the fact that you're gonna be on the right side of the bed okay now we need some up and down of the body movement mm, tump Okay, and we're gonna bring this body down a bit. There we go. And we're gonna be really, really over the top about it. So it's thunk, thunk. Yeah, we gotta be over the top about it. So we're gonna have to have a heavy step. Heavy step. Thunk. Heavy step. Downward. Thunk, thunk. This one is going to have to have a heavy step too. All the way down. We're basically doing lunges. Let's take a look to see what that looks like. Thump, 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 thump. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that, I like that. Delete keyframe there. Let's actually move this foot in just a little bit more. I don't like that knee. I really don't. Bring you in. There we go. And then bring you back out again. There we go. Much better. The knee's a little bit better. Now for the arms. And the arms are going to be a little bit more expressive. Huh? Wait a minute. Diaxon. 
how did you get the emote? I didn't get any message saying that you subbed. Or is that just added to the chat in general? Huh. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I, I didn't even I didn't even notice that you subbed. Thank you very much. Holy cow. Oh, channel points. Right. Oh. Well, I completely forgot that those things exist. I really did. I completely forgot those those exist. <laughs> Just like, oh man, I got a second sub. I'm like, all right, all right. No, that's your channel points. Hey, hey, you've been here long enough in order to uh, have the points for that. So I guess there's that. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save. Do 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 do. So let's. These are going to have to be. Yeah. Okay. These need to be right here. And this one's going to be backwards a bit. Yeah. And this one's actually going to swing in front of the body. Let's move that elbow out. Elbow still needs to come out of it. Where is that elbow? There we go. Elbow swing out. There we go. That's what we want. Second step, yeah, and have those hands do again. Be in this position. Elbow swing out, and yeah, there we go. Elbow, elbow, yeah. Mmm, don't want you to go too straight. I want you to be quite bent. Thank y'all. Get bent, yo. Get bent. Elbows, they always get bent. Hello, Ben. <laughs> now, I've had enough Naruto runs, but, uh... Yeah, uh, that's 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 how all all of my animations start out is with a Naruto run there with the with the arms backwards. Got to get that body in position. Until then, they got uh, they got a headband on them with a scratch. Dun dun dun. It's been so long since I actually watched Naruto. I think the last episode that I seen of Naruto, what was it, um, Sasuke had walked away from um, one of their fights and um, Naruto was just starting to get some, uh, s uh, losing his um, powers over to the Nine Tails, like he was not in control. And it's just like, I, will f I won't kill you, I'll find power another way, or something like that. Oh yeah, that's right. It, and Sasuke was debating whether or not to kill his best friend. That's what it was. Alright. <laughs> and we have accidentally created a Cabbage Patch dance. Look at this. Nyrt. 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 Cabbage Patch. <laughs> okay, let's get let's get rid of that Cabbage Patch, because we're supposed to be angry. We're not supposed to be... Uh, we're not supposed to be uh, dancing. We're supposed to be gurangers. 
Okay, and then we have to get these in front again. Okay, there we go. And you probably don't even see that. Yeah, you don't you don't even see that, but <laughs> I love that. Okay. Let's see this in textured mode. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit slower. Let's get rid of those bones then, shall we? So they walk up to it, split. One's happy, one's angry. Nyer, nyer, nyer. <laughs> oh, that. Yeah. Oh, I love how they split. Oh, yeah. All right, I think we got. I think we got ourselves a wrong side ZF. All right, duplicate collection. Oh, oh, nope. I can't do that. I can't do that yet. I forgot the red eyes. I need to put in the red eyes. That's right. All right, they split. Let's get back in those bones again, and go to the facial bones. Zoom right on in there. And let's get those red eyes out. All right, and then. Those red eyes start here, and then, ooh, uh oh what are you, what's happening? Hello? Oh, there it goes, okay. All right, and then bring out those eyes right about here. And we're going to increase the size, too. And let's change the viewport textures for that. Let's change that to a red. There we go. I was afraid of that. Let's change that, too. Zoom on right in. Get those red eyes a little bit too big. We want them to cover completely. Actually, you know what? Let's let's have them be smaller. Add in the red eyes rather than just be on top. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. And how does that look with the textures? Ah. Yeah. They don't quite fade in like I would want them to, but that's okay. I will live without it. All right, get rid of the bones and let's take a look at how that looks again. What? And we are lagging. Yeah, popping in there is okay. I like it. That's okay, Glebo. Nice of you to join. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of kind of a uh, uh, undecided. I'm having a um, split decision. Split. I could be good, happy, or I could be sad. I don't know until I get out of bed. All right. Yeah, I, I completely changed the um, the idea of how I wanted this to go, and I'm actually just going to have them split from now on. And we will go to this, all of that, and we're going to have to bring back the flump. And you, where is the fallen bed stop point? I think this is the fallen bed stop point. So, we want you to move your fallen bed step point right 
here. So now... So now they should... Flump. Split. Ah! Gotta change that face texture. Whoops. <laughs> um, face texture. Do, 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 do. Face. Yes, please. Uh, split face from other. And we want empty number what? Empty number 11 is what we want. Empty number 11. There we go. Fixed. There we go. Flop and bed. Fold out. Flop and bed. Fold out. Alright, now how many inv instances of this can we have before it gets uncontrollably ridiculous? So... I think we're going to have to do things strangely. Let's do a duplicate and then a duplicate. Okay, so these guys, oops, these two, nope. Not right. Uh, let's just move you around. All right. So we have a flopping bed here at frame. What is that? 80? No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, 298. 298 is that one. And then 434. So just under 200 frames is the next one to start. So next one should be like five, five, 580 or 900 or something like that. Let's go with 600 just to just to be safe. And move all of this over. Let's go with 600 and see what where, where we can do with that. Just about 200 frames per each. All right, and we're gonna have to have some ZFs in. If we want this to be a looping animation, we're gonna have to have some ZFs in front as well. So, save. We're gonna have to duplicate yet this again. Duplicate and duplicate. Have all of these uh, grab and move backwards. All right, let's reverse this whole process. So two ninety eight. We're going to bring it back uh, another two hundred. So we're going to be eighty. I think we're going to go for an eighty here. 80 for the flop. I want to be on the heels. Just as the heels come up, I want the other one to... Just as I flop, I want the other one to have the heels. No. 
how does this work? Okay. Hmm. Oh, that doesn't work. That doesn't work right. Okay. What if we move it upward a bit? Yeah, actually, if we move it upward still. Yeah, we just miss it. As he as he kind of uh, leans back to one side, he kind of just misses them. So he leans to one side, and then he brings his head around just enough. I mean, his arm clips in through there a little bit, but that doesn't matter too much. Just as long as it's not a major clip. And then the same thing happens here. It moves just in time out of the way. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to have yet again this duplicate. Duplicate collection. Duplicate collection. And this one is already past the, f the falling off pa phase. Nope, we gotta move it back just a little bit. Is it too early or too late? I don't know. No, move it, move it back. Keep on going. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. There we go. That's that's what we want there. Okay. That's what we want. Blop. So we start off here, but we're going to need yet another duplication. Duplicate collection, and duplicate collection. And we're going to have to have this guy nearly almost complete through its cycle. those red eyes so the red eyes appear just as they're at that green line there at the head so we want the red eyes appear there so there we go there we go <laughs> this is madness <laughs> <laughs> um I uh, no. Um I want it to be a video because uh in Twitter videos tend to loop, but I do I do like um I do like my gifts. I do like my gifts for certain cuz they're easier to loop continuously uh unlike Twitter where I think you can just stop it from uh, looping but what I do I do like my looping animations just because it's so weird looping animations are just so incredibly odd all right so how when do we want to uh, cut this mm. I think we want to try and cut it here. Let's try. Let's try 400. All right. Off the bat, we definitely have some problems. What are those problems?
Well, they're right in the right standing positions, almost. I wonder if we can just... Uh, oh. Uh... What if... So it's this one and this one, I believe. This one and this one, right? Yep, this one and this one. These two, okay. What if we move you backwards? Uh, no, actually, what if we extend the time a little bit? What if it's not 400? What if... Oh, we're almost there. We're almost there. We are almost there. Extend the time. Yeah, actually. We want it to have that hand 47. All right, let's see what we can do here. So it should loop a better, but not perfectly. Oh. Wait a minute, where... Wait, where was that loop again? Hold on. It shouldn't have looped perfectly. What went wrong? Okay. Okay, his head is going up. Up. Okay, so I think we're starting it a little too soon. Up, up. 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 Almost. Okay, there we go. I need to... Oh, uh, Fox character? Um... Well, it goes back to what Puka is, and basically, an odd word, oddly to say, Puka is a fairy. If any of you know um, White Wolf role playing, uh, my character was a the class and the the race of the character was a Puka, so he was basically a human with animal features. Uh, and he was born from, like, dreams, so he's a fairy, pretty much. But, um, gosh. I had a name for my character. Like, my character wasn't called Puka, but everybody in the group was annoyed with me. <laughs> Basically. But, uh, he can shift to human. And if he's in the real world instead of the dreaming... He's perceived to be a human. <laughs> but it, Pukas cannot tell and tell a uh, can't tell a tell the truth. So they have to at some point actually continuously uh, tell a lie. So 
they're so annoyed with me that they just basically continuously call me what I am, which is basically Puka, shut up. Just like, just like kind of calling me peasant because in the dreaming world, Pukas are kind of a, a lower class, uh, class person as it is. So they never figured out my, what my real name was. They just constantly called me Puka. And it had literally stuck outside of the role-playing game to the point where they started calling my parents Mr. and Mrs. Puka. Because they didn't know their names. It's like... Uh... But now there's a different type of Mrs. Puka, which in, is my wife. <laughs> and at one point, we didn't actually, but at one point we, we were both thinking, Hey, let's have the pastor uh, uh, say, I, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Puka. So... <laughs> Before I even had a, uh, before I even had the YouTube channel, I was called Puka. Flump. Flump. Okay. We need to change the timing on on this one. I think it's gonna be easiest if I take and change the timing on the first one to match the last one. So if I move this guy, these two guys backwards to where that leg is extended. Ooh, all the way. Make sure the leg is extended all the way. Okay. And move back a bit. How far back? All right, there we go. That got those two to loop up correctly. Now let's get uh, these two to loop up correctly. So these two aren't go aren't currently matching up. All right, so this last one needs to match up with this guy, and they need to move backwards a bit in their timing. Forward, backwards. Okay. All right, forwards and then backwards. Nope. Move ahead and two frames. Perfect, okay. So that should loop correctly now. Yay. Loop, ah, oh, yes. We got it. Look at that go. And now it should loop now. Yeah! We got that going! Let's say that in with the land too. All right. love this. I absolutely love it. Oh, this is good. This is fantastic. I love the I, I love that how we accidentally had them splitting from one side to the other. Got more ZFs in in one screen in a short amount of a loop. That is good. I like that. Lava's moving a little bit quickly, but I honestly could care less. That is, that is good. I like that. Ooh. Hello, Nova Thorn. Just in time. Check this out, Nova. We got it looping. Loops. You don't even see it. Watch this again. It's going to loop right about now. Seamless. Ah, I love it. I love it. Okay, now to get in the other actors, huh? Then we should get in those other actors. Who else we got in this here? Okay, we got Beef, him talking with Professor Oak uh, with a Pokeball. I think he's going to be the easiest one to do. 
let's see here, textures. Yeah, I think I need to also fix these textures here a bit. No, uh, this is the ren this is the textured mode here, and this is the rendered mode with all the shadows. So yeah, it just comes out blue. Dragon Bro, yep, got the Dragon Bros in here. Always looking for an excuse just to use the Dragon Bros. Yeah, the textures on this. Um, that is, is a strange thing. Basically, it's a gray texture, and then the blue is applied on top of it. Which actually helps for creating in Blender, because you can change it to a green for the swamp, or you can change it to another color if it's some other type of chemical pool in your, in your story, I guess. Let's see here. We want... Names, here we go. Empty four is what we want to have this one turn into. Empty four, there we go. We got Joe Hill's face in there. And we need to fix that eye. Bring you down, there we go. Eye fixed. Uh, face for Ren Dog. We want you to be changed to empty number five. Empty number five. And Ren Dog face fixed. Not that you see this eye. Let's go ahead and fix it anyways. There we go. Do, 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 do. But double O is okay. And green. Green is going to have to change. We have an empty number eight. Skin face. Yeah. Green is fixed, except for the eye. Let's fix that eye. There we go. Alright, so Beef is probably going to be the easiest person to to animate. So let's name him Beef. And actually, let's go ahead and name all these other ones so I know what these are. Green. What are you? Oh, you're not even in here. You do not matter. You are going to go into unused. Uh, Puka model. You don't need to be around here either. Puka model into unused. Okay, good. Good. What are you? Good SKL. Why is there seven? Why is there seven of these things? What is going on? Oh! Egg split armature. Oh! Goodness sakes. Okay, so this one should be... Okay, this one is Doc. White? Oh, I made a mistake here. Okay. Whoops. Nope. Oh, well. Oh, nope. Nope. Oh, gosh. That was that was horrible. That was horrible. Okay. New collection. Don't duplicate collection. We don't need to have. 20 million ZFs running around. Goodness, we already have enough. Uh, okay, this one is Doc. Dragon Doc. Drag. Dragon Doc. This one's Dragon Doc. We're gonna have to separate this a little bit. Um, cube. We want all of these to go into Dragon Dock. There we go. Now this should get rid of Dock. 
And this one should get rid of that one. This one is called B double O. B double O 100. Just cause. Ooh. Oh, those are emotes. Yes. Dang it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, if there's a way to change it so that I can actually, you can just spend the same amount of channel points. Yeah. If there is a, a way to change it so that those other two are able to be used uh, via channel points, that would be delightful. I don't have to look into that. Here. That's... Ah, that's tech. Darn it. I thought that was... Uh, uh, I can't guess those emotes. I thought that was an X, but I was wrong. That is a tech. Good emote, bad guess. Um, Tango, yeah, Tango. Tango Tech. Don't have Tango in here. Um, okay, everybody's labeled. No. This is Ren Dog. Ren. Ren Dog. Okay. And you are what? You are Joe Hills. Joe Hills. And good Escal. Yeah, that's right. Okay, good. Good. Let us... Have you sitting on a step here? Do, 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 do. Move you up here. And move those legs out. And up. There we go. Down and in. There we go. Mm, rotate you. No, I want to rotate you on the Y axis, Z axis. There we go. Bring you in, bring you down, over. And rotate that elbow in, because you're going to be holding on to a Pokeball that I'm going to be creating. Pokeball. Bring that leg out a little bit. And bring that knee. Knee, swing that the other direction. There we go. Yeah, I just, I put those emotes there just to uh, have something in that slot. I do not expect anybody to actually do that lock. There we go. Bring this over. Delete. Keyframe. Um, and what is this keyframe? What is that doing? No idea. Oh, this this guy needs to go. You dragonist gal need to go into unused because I don't need two of you. Right, let's create a pokeball, shall we? Just make a quick pokeball. So Add in mesh cube, shrink on down, just make a quick pokeball. Mm. Gonna do a loop cut. Loop cut. Alright, cut you right down the center. Mm, planes, wanna select the planes. Selection, select the planes. 
go. And a new texture. Top. Poke. Actually, we'll call that Poke Top. Poke Top. And... Make that pure white. Assign. Do 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 And we're gonna add in another one. This is gonna be Poke Bottom. Poke Bottom. Just make that a red. And darken that red a little bit. Good. Sign. Good. Um, I forget what the f the button looks like. Hmm. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> okay. What does the button look like? I've forgotten. Chrome. Do 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 do. Poke ball. Pokeball. Oh, there's the black strip in the middle. Oh, right. Forgot about that. Okay, poke black strip in the center, and it's just white. All right. All right. So what I want to do is. Uh, edge select. I want to select these edges. Uh, let's go with this. Select these edges, and I want to edge edge slide. I want to bring this up a little bit, and let's do another loop cut. Loop cut right there. And edge, edge slide. Bring that up. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and select faces. I want to select faces, thank you. And we're just gonna make this another black sign. There we go. Actually, you know what? Let's give it a little bit of a dimension here. Let's actually bring this in. Uh, extrude uh, and scale. Let's bring this in a bit. There we go. Now, it's, now it has a little dimension to it. Sweet. Um, although I think I just screwed myself because I don't know how to make the button on the side. You know what? <laughs> nah, I don't know how to make uh, certain things. Let's just scale this down a bit. Eh. How would how would one do this? Maybe if I subdivide uh, mesh. Let's do edge subdivide. What if we? Yeah, that actually would do. Okay, let's do that, and let's do an inset. Inset. Mm, face. Inset faces. There we go. Okay. Perfect. And take these guys and bring them out. And then this is just white. Assign that to both of those. 
And then these things can go back in. Let's grab that one and that one. Let's extrude inward here. Extrude. There we go. And let's have this be material assigned black. Good. Uh, let's do median. There we go. Much better. There we go. Good enough. Good enough, for sure, because we can just scale this guy down a little bit. Perfect. It has a Pokeball. And let's put this on the rig. Hidden bones. We want this. Attached to bone. There we go. Save. Now supports Chrome extensions. Hmm. Is it? Pokeball is upside down. Well, he's not holding an electroid. Mm, rotate. X, I think that's what they're called, right? Electroids. There we go. Right side up. Alright, now let's see. How do we want to have him talk? Electrode. Thank you. Thank you. I think the best way to do this is mm. we're getting the right frames per second. Yes, sixty frames a second. Bring that back up. 60 frames a second, good. So I think the best way to do this is if I mock rock scale, if I just have him do normal, normal everyday movements, just um, just rocking a little bit. Hello. Why can I not select any of these bones? Grab. Okay. Huh. I somehow have lost the ability to right click on the bones. No idea what's happened here. Let us reload that. Yeah, I can't select on the bones. What gives, yo? Can I select any of the other people's bones? Uh, Grian. Can I select on your bones? No. Okay. Well, that was weird. How very strange. Okay, anywho. Let's do him um, do normal movements. So we're going to have him rock a little bit this way. 
Okay. Yep, rock a little bit that way. Rock a little bit this way. And have him rock a little bit this way. Rock a little bit this way. Mm, nope, we want individual origins. Duke, 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 Duke. And we will put in other points for the talking in between these. But we want to make the, the other points first. Copy. Let's go to the end of this and paste. So he's going to rock. <laughs> yeah, um, actually, for some reason, this right up here, this uh, thing that's supposed to allow me to look through things, for some reason, that was both not working and working at the same time. So I don't know what was actually going on with this. Because it's supposed to be like, hey, you can see through all the objects to click something else. But while I'm in pose mode, it it does something weird where I can't select any of the bones. But it's supposed to actually be working with pose mode, but I don't understand what. It depends on whether or not I'm in pose mode, whether I enable and disable it. Which is odd. Alright, so we want, we want a few head bobs. We're just going to have him head bobbing. So let us get in some points here. Do, 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 do. Let's do some head bobs for the talking. So I do be nit, 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 nit. And then I want him to turn to Professor Oak at this point. Be like, turn to Professor Oak. And then this is going to duplicate. And then he's going to talk with Professor Oak while in that direction. So, do that again. Nert. 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 Nut, 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 nut. Turn back. Yeah. And we'll have to move around these hands a little bit. And then actually, let's move this hand downward a little bit. Oh, where'd the Pokeball go, by the way? Um, is it in one of these other people's stuff? Green, no. New. No. Hello. Ooh, that's, that's not going to be good. Huh. Where'd the Pokeball go? Pokeball? Oh, there it is. It's in good at, good Iscale's place. Alright, we need to move this. Move. People. Beef. There we go. Now it's on his layer. And then once he turns to Professor Oak, uh, he gestures about the Pokeball. And then does a couple of shakes with it. There we go. 
And then while he's talking over here with this hand, I can have him do some gestures with this hand while he's talking. Not, that's not what I want. Uh, save. There we go. Talk, talk, talk. Talk about the ball. Actually, let's take this and shrink it down. <laughs> I just had a stupid thought. Um, what if, what if, um, we take this, we take this and we, we're going to bring it back to this point at some point, but we're going to bring this up to our, what is happening with your arm? <laughs> okay. Okay. Bring this out. And this is the duplicate. And then we are going to shake this Pokeball as though we're trying to figure out what's inside of it. And we're going to do this rather quickly. these ones let's shorten the gap in between these <laughs> I need to have him try it uh, lean I need to have him lean into it as though he's trying to listen okay and then rotate back <laughs> uh, the Pokeball, of course. What's inside of it? No idea. <laughs> move the Poke... Um, hold on, what do you mean by move the Pokeball to a different location? Oh, like in a, in a, different, in a different person's thing? Oh, it was just in the wrong collection. I got... All the collections here just to organize things, so I hit M to move it to a different location. So people, so collection, people, uh, beef is now in beef's thingy. Talk, talk, shake ball, and then is there anything in there? Nope, okay, we're good. Alright, now we have beef all done. Sweet. Goodness sakes. Um, ZFs. So, currently, our scene... Uh-oh. Let's, uh... Let's fix some of these faces, shall we? Uh, face. Separate the face. That's right. We 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 are we had it in all of these things, but we forgot to add uh, fix the faces here. All right. So this one needs empty number sixteen. Okay, and this one needs empty number seventeen. Okay. All right. These ones need to be changed too. This one needs empty number 18. Okay, and this one needs empty number 19. There we go. Those faces are okay. These faces are not okay. Empty number 14. And 
this one needs empty number 15. Empty number 15, there we go. These faces are okay. These faces are okay. And it doesn't look like I need any other faces, because all the other faces should be facing away from us. So this is our scene so far. Oh, get rid of good ass scale for right now, because we do not have an animation for him. Yes, yes, it is. It is the case of a lot of streams. Um, in this case, you might actually learn something if, of course, you're a novice like me. I mean, there's a lot of keys, uh, quick keys that uh, can be learned just by watching somebody else's stream. Or I actually like to watch other people's drawing streams because I like the no drawing techniques and stuff like that if I eventually need to start drawing or something like that. So, I mean, you watch an art stream, anybody's art stream, and you'll actually get somewhat productive. But, yeah. Have Iskal and the Rainbow Suit do a banana... Oh, ballerina twirl. I don't know why I read that as a banana twirl. He needs the new banana twirl. <laughs> uh, banana twirl. Oh, get rid of those rigs. Do 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 do. I wonder if I can. Uh. uh Huh. Yep, I still haven't found anybody else that, um, on Twitch. I would like to, uh, stream. Let's see here if there's anybody. Hermit. Craft. Hermit Chad. <laughs> Oh, goodness sakes. Blender. Yeah, currently nobody is doing any type of... Uh, is anybody doing type of art right now? Uh, nobody is doing art. Why is nobody doing art? It's my fault for actually streaming at this time. My fault is fault for actually being awake at this time. Uh, eventually we'll find somebody to raid. Eventually. But I appreciate everybody for coming here, talking. It's been a fantastic. Thank you, everyone. Um, I think this is going to be our progress for today. We got in all of the ZFs that we need. We got in beef and... Just as quick as we put in beef, we'll probably get some uh, other animations going because we don't need to do too much. They just need to stand there and just uh, uh, emote a little bit. I have to figure out what I want to dock and let's see here. B00 and dock. Dock. We're going to have to figure out what we want these two guys to be doing. Whether uh, we want them to be arguing across the room there. If I'm going to have to shrink down Doc just so that he can actually fit in the frame. But okay. That's going to be it. See you later, guys. Take care. <laughs>